Hi, yeah, my name's Tori. I work for Norfolk Police Safe for Schools and Youth Engagement Team, and today I'm going to answer questions about assault. So, what is assault? Now, that's when you inflict intentional, so on purpose, or reckless harm towards another person. Now, reckless is when you should realise that your actions will cause harm, but you didn't necessarily intend to do it. Harm can be physical or it can be psychological, and that also includes somebody to fear for their own safety. Who can commit assault? Anybody of any age can commit an assault. However, from the age of 10, you can be dealt with by the police for that. Who can be subjected to an assault? So who can be a victim of an assault? Anybody, it doesn't matter on your age. Are there different levels of assault? Yes, there are. And I'll explain these to you from lower to higher. And the way that we rate those are from or based on the actual level of injury that the victim receives. So don't think that a lower level assault makes it okay. It is still an assault. So the main ones that we deal with are common assault and battery, ABH and GBH. What is common assault and battery? Now that can be spitting, punching, pushing, the threat to do those sorts of things. Battery is usually the more hands-on, so things can be like poking or pushing or like an offensive contact. What is ABH? ABH is actual bodily harm, and that's where you actually leave a mark or an injury, a bruise or a cut, but that they will actually heal. So it's not life-changing or life-threatening. What is GBH? GBH is grievous bodily harm, and this is the highest level of assault, and that's where you leave a life-changing or, say, permanent injury. Now, severe injuries are thought to cause serious harm to the victim's health, and that could be physical, things such as broken bones or, say, a stabbing, or it could be biological, which is where you intentionally pass on a disease knowing that you have it to another person. Or it could be psychological, so that's if you cause fear or paranoia from your actions and all of these things can be pretty nasty for the victim a gbh injury can be intentional or reckless as i explained at the beginning how would you be dealt with all depends on if you've previously been in trouble with the police, the level of severity of the injuries that you have caused, and also your intent. So what you actually intended to do in that incident. Now, if you're in a situation, hopefully this will actually give you enough information to prevent you from getting involved into something like that. But of course, you could be a victim too. So if you've heard um, either through other people that this is something that could happen to you or you've received threats or you can just feel that trouble is brewing, please make sure that you speak to somebody and do not go into that situation. If you're already in that situation and you can feel that that's happening, if you can get away from there, please make sure that you do. Okay, thanks for listening and keep yourself safe.